Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. And in this battle, I will be going up against a confederation officer, the map Mountain Road. It's a desert map. So we start off scouting with a red boost because it's, it's, a, it's a medium sized map and it's just a PVP. So there's no need to go bo uh, gold boost. Scouting out good. Collecting the containers as we go, building a base, and we can still see the enemy has HQ level 1. The enemy is trying to collect as many containers as possible, but I think due to like lag or something, he just disconnected. Of course I scout, I see he's upgrading his assault vehicle factory. I built some sniper towers to ensure protection against scouting from my base. And I thought he was going to infantry rush me from the side, but he didn't. It was just a couple assaults. I don't know what he was trying to do here. He probably just wanted to make his assaults useful and take down like one or two buildings, but that didn't work. So you can see I'm going my Avia factory and assault vehicle factory and you can see he has a assault hammer combination he has level two barracks now i just see he's upgrading to level three so i'll see that he has flamethrower guys out and so i produce jaguars and hawks and then just for fun i attack my assaults I mean, not my assaults, my riflemen. Because I know this guy's not going to win. Keep producing. And then I attack with my hawk. I convert my attacks to his, and, uh, to his army. So I can deal the splash damage to his units. And uh, take down some of the hit points. Now I can see he's attacking, so I form my Jaguars into a into a defensive position. And now I start to fully like uh, send my Hawks and fully start to engage. I use my Riflemen as shields so my Jaguars don't get hit directly. And now he's targeting my Jaguars. And right after that, he has nothing left. So his attack has been discontinued. I can see he has a full five supply centers and he has some typhoons because of his special vehicle factory. I'm going HQ level four. And as you can see, my Jaguars are terribly microed and that they don't have any good upgrades. Like five of his hammers can beat three of my Jaguars. That's a big difference. So I make a power plant and another construction yard so I can build some more hawks. Because the only thing that can take out hammers and assaults as effectively is hawks or like splash damage dealing units like jaguars. Except my jaguars aren't that good. So I send my uh, rifleman to see what kind of army he has. And I'm actually surprised that my rifleman did quite good against his hammers. Just a couple riflemen, and that a lot, and I took like 40% uh, of his hammer combination down. He only has six hammers left. And so I decide to scout him, and with that scout I can see the, uh, that he has three level two assault vehicle factories. He'll be producing more units than me. The only reason hammers are actually that powerful is because they are massed. And when massed, they deal lots of damage. As you can see, I'm producing some grenadiers. I wanted to attack him from the side, from, uh, to the left of his base. So I'm making some grenadiers to pierce his building's armor. Now I scout him with a hawk. See, see that he has some flamethrower guys. 
and a lot and a lot of hammers. So I can tell he's not that worried about infantry. So I start moving my grenadiers to the left, and as that happens, I see that he is moving his hammers. And for safety, I move in my grenadiers to take down his hammers. And look at the look at the fire assaults. They're just burning my infantry. And with that, my grenadiers are gone. I move in my hawks, but because of the number of typhoons there, my hawks don't do that much that much uh, damage. Plus, his hammers are pretty fast. I only have four jaguars here, and that's really bad. My, jag my jaguars aren't that good uh, in upgrades. Seeing that he is taking down my base, and still have quite a lot of hammers left, that's pretty astonishing, so... I move in all my hawks, try defending the best I can. And even so, he took down... Uh, Avia Factory and a level 3 Assault Vehicle Factory. I was really pissed at this moment and I actually thought I might just surrender. But then I thought, hmm, hammers are only good if they're masked, right? So, and my rifleman dealt with them somewhat pretty good, so... I'm just gonna mass up riflemen and then like I just gonna I'm just gonna keep producing them. I set the rally point uh, of all these barracks to the enemy base so they'll just continue producing uh, riflemen. And all I have to do is just keep make, uh, training riflemen. So here we can see my hawks have taken taken out a couple of hammers and my riflemen are starting the assault. You can just see the continuous stream of riflemen pour into his base. And you can see that his hammer count is going down pretty fast. And of course I use a gold infantry attack boost so I can assist my units on the front line. And I keep remembering to produce my riflemen. And since riflemen are also good against infantry somewhat, they counter the fire assault better than my grenadiers. Also, the smoke grenade from my riflemen decreased the accuracy of the hammers, so the hammers are less effective in countering my riflemen. And after he has no troops left, I move in to attack his base. I wonder for some reason why this guy isn't producing fortresses. That's a pretty good rifleman counter. But I guess it's probably because he doesn't have any upgrades on them, like my Jaguars. You should always just keep using the units that you have upgrades in, but don't neglect your other units. So I think that's the mistake this guy did. Now I'm targeting his level 3 barracks with my Hawks to make sure he doesn't produce any more fire assaults. And with this, you can see like... A good 60 riflemen plus just storming his base. And with this, I continue attacking. He takes down his own buildings, and it's a good game. GG.